Example number 4, simplify, simplify the expression cosine square 5x minus sine square 5x into a single expression only. So, paano gagawin natin dyan? We apply the double angle identity. Kung mapapansin natin, this is similar to the double angle identity formula for cosine function. Cosine 2a is equal to cosine square a minus sine square a. And in this problem, in this expression, ng a natin is obviously yung 5x. So, para masimplify natin, we use a double angle identity. Cosine, rewrite natin, cosine square 5x minus sine square 5x is equal to cosine, yung a natin is 5x, 2 times 5x. And simplifying, this is cosine, 2 times 5 is 10, this 10x, or simply cosine 10x na lang. Ito na yung simplified expression natin for example number 4. Example number 5. Again, simplified expression. Ang given naman sa ating expression is sine 15 degrees cos sine 15 degrees. But this time, hindi lang natin masisimplify expression. Pwede na rin natin masolve yung exact value ng sine 15 degrees cos sine 15 degrees. Kung mapapansin natin, Hindi pa natin agad siya pwedeng apply of course ang double angle identity kasi wala siyang exact na kamuka from the formulas natin na ibinigay kanina sa intro. But this is sine and cosine. Ang unang papasok sa isip natin is yung double angle identity of sine function na sine 2a and ang kanyang formula is 2 sine a cosine a. Ayan yung kanyang formula. Kaya lang problema Ito okay na to. This similar arrangement. Na. Kaya lang meron pa tayong value na 2 dito. Paano gagawin natin yan? In, alge in algebraic solution, pwede natin lagyan yan ng 2. So this is 2 sine 15 degrees cosine 15 degrees. Pwede natin yan lagyan ng 2. Kaya lang dapat lagyan din natin ng pambawi 1 half. This is 2 lalagyan din natin ng 1 half para equal pa rin siya sa 1. Walang pinagbago yung kanyang value. Pero, na manipulate na natin siya algebraically kasi eto na yung ating double angle identity for sine function. Kaya lang, meron tayong extra 1 half dito sa kabila. So, suited na siya to use the double angle identity. This is sine... 2, and ang ating A is yung 15 degrees. This is 2 times 15 degrees. Pero, do not forget that 1 half, dapat may 1 half pa rin siya dito. Kasi ito lang yung i-convert natin using the double angle identity na ito. Ayan. So, rewrite ulit natin. This is 1 half over sine 2 times 15 is 30 degrees and na siya. And again, meron na tayong known value for sine 30 from the table na binigay sa atin nung, na binigay nung unang let na binigay from our previous lesson. 1 over 2, ang exact value ng sine 30 natin is 1 half. And multiplying, this is 1 over 4. Therefore, sine 15 degrees Cosine 15 degrees is directly equal to 1 over 4. For last example, for the application of double angle identities, we have example number 6, verif verifying an identity ulit. Verify the end so verify the identity, we have given an expression, sine theta minus cosine theta quantity square is equal to 1 minus sine 2 theta. Remember, Pag nag-verify tayo ng trigonometric identity, isa sa mga rule natin or isa sa mga guidelines natin is puunahin natin yung more complicated side of the equation. And in this problem, ito ang ating isi-simplify. So, let's simplify. 
uh, rewrite natin sin theta minus cosine theta quantity square is equal to 1 minus sin 2 theta. So, expand natin itong part na to. This is sin theta minus cosine theta. Sin theta minus cosine theta is equal to 1 minus sin 2 theta. So, ipag-multiply natin. The sine theta times sine theta, sine squared theta, and sine theta times negative cosine theta, negative sine theta, cosine theta. Ganun ulit, negative cosine theta times positive sine theta, negative sine theta, cosine theta. Ito yun. And lastly, Negative cosine theta times negative cosine theta is positive cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine 2 theta. So, simplify pa natin. Dapat ang maging match niya is itong side of the equation na yan. So, we combine like terms or pagsamasamayin natin para mas madaling tingnan. Sine squared theta, lagay natin dito yung plus cosine squared theta and this is similar term so we can combine negative sine theta cosine theta minus sine theta cosine theta is negative 2 sine theta cosine theta considering this as x x x plus x is 2x parang ganun lang siya is equal to 1 minus sine 2 Theta. By Pythagorean identity, itong part na to is equal to 1 by Pythagorean identity yan. Fra one of the fundamental identities natin. Minus, ito namang part na to is the double angle identity of sine function which is yung sine 2 theta. So, pwede na natin yung rewrite as sine 2 theta is equal to 1 minus sine 2 theta. Therefore, we have verified the identity. This is the answer for example number 6. And that's all for the application of double angle identities of trigonometry. Please like and share. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.